Okay, so y'all, before we get into this video, I do want to let you guys know, this video, I kept the parts where I made mistakes, so with me putting my wig on. So first, I ended up putting a wig on, did not do the bald cap correctly, was too lazy to go get the correct makeup shade. So I took it off, and then I did a trial and error without a bald cap, and I'm just like, no, I'm just going to do the bald cap correctly. So... I kept all that in there just so you guys can see that doing hair is not perfect. I still make mistakes as well. Just about seeing what's wrong and how to fix it. So that's why I left that in there. If you guys do not want to see me going through the trial and error, but if you want to see like the actual like video, the final results or whatever, skip to about 22 minutes. I'm just going to say that and stay until the end. But in the beginning, I do talk about different tips. I show you plucking, but I do want to let you guys know what you guys see with me wearing a purple shirt is not the end of result. The blue shirt is me with the end of results and the pictures will be up as well. Okay, so I don't exactly know how to pronounce the name of the company, but I think it's Colleen. It's C-O-L-E-E-N. And this is this is what the wig looks like on their website and this wig is 24 inches so inside the bag only comes the wig um it came in a bag but i had took it off to make sure that this was what was supposed to be in the bag so this is how the wig looks this is what the 4c edges look like without nothing done to them. The first, um, okay, well, the wig is adjusted. Um, this is what the inside of the wig looks like. So we're just gonna go to put in the wig on. And I do just have my hair slicked back into a ponytail. So this is how the wig looks on me, straight out of the box. So I do need to get thinner bowl caps, um, but for my bowl caps, I just use um, these. So I receive a whole bunch of these when I get wigs. And since I rarely do bowl caps, I just have a whole bunch of them. But I decided to do one because I feel like I'm gonna end up doing a style or I just don't know what I'm gonna do. So I just want to have it. To put down my bowl cap, I just use glue to trace along my hairline. Um, I want to try to do the hairspray method. I haven't in a long time, but I want to find a good hairspray to use to spray so the cap doesn't roll back. But So now we're just going to cut the bowl cap. make sure you get these pieces especially by your ears um i usually don't worry about my bow caps being perfect because um i never have it on for long <laughs> so now that we have the bow cap cut we're just going to finish putting makeup on areas that we didn't okay so now that we have the bow cap on we're gonna go on to customizing a wig because I have yet to pluck anything. So I'm just gonna plug my hot comb in and we're gonna begin plucking.
Okay, so I just went to put the wig on my head because I needed to put it in a middle part. Um, Cause so far, this is how the plucking looks. So I had needed to make sure that I didn't over pluck for the middle since this is color hair and I can't use black spray to cover it up. Um, I do have like red spray, but I don't think it's the same color red. So now that we have the middle and I tried it on my head, this side looks perfect. Wait, no, yeah, this side looks perfect. I'm just gonna pluck a few of these edges out because this is just too much, but these are the 4C edges. Um, and this side, this side actually looks good. I just need to go in right here, which I already knew um, because I plucked this side. I just didn't know where my middle part was. Okay, so I was going to leave the 4C edges out and then try to play with that later. But I just decided to just push them back and just kind of pluck. But I didn't pluck a lot in case I did want to pull certain edges out. It's not going to be so, like, thin. Well, I'll be able to, like, pluck it later because I don't like to have thick edges. But my sideburns, I do. So I just did like literally, I only put like three hairs from each space. So now we are going to put the wig on to see how everything's looking. So I could be sure that I can cut it. And then we will add my makeup. This is how it looks so far. So now we're just gonna cut our ear tips, but I won't be able to do that on camera because I have to see what i'm cutting but i wanted to show you guys what it's looking like so give me a second okay so i went and i cut off my ear tabs so now i'm trying to think because i think i know my makeup shade but i'm not too sure <laughs> i've been using this one so i think um because i have another one the other one is like 12 but I think it's downstairs. I'm, you know what? I think I'm just going to take this shade and add it to the inside and cut the lace. And then we'll see what it's looking like. Taking this side, which is always the darker side, and I'm putting that on the inside of the lace. Yeah, I want to see if I could try to show you guys. Like, I'm literally just going to brush it on. And you want to make sure you get before the hairline too just to make sure okay so now that i put the makeup on my lace i'm just going to cut my lace off now because i feel like i am comfortable with how it looks but i just want to be sure because once you cut the lace you'll be able to tell if it's light or dark so um i'm just going to look right here into my other phone so i could be able to see where I'm cutting because you do want to cut in a jagged motion. Okay, so from what I can see, it doesn't look too light, but I'm gonna go check in my bathroom mirror. You always wanna make sure you check in different lightings, especially since I have a ring light on. The light in my bedroom is a yellow light and then I have the windows open. So if you do wanna check in different settings, just make sure it's to your liking. So I'll be right back. Okay, 
Okay, so I just laid down my second layer and I did use my blow dryer to make sure I actually get the glue dry since this is a color wig. So um, I alternated it. I did a low setting. I kept switching from cool to warm back and forth until it turned clear. <laughs> Okay, so I put three layers down and they all dry clear. So now we're gonna stick our wig on. And since I don't have my part position, you wanna make sure that you line up your ear tabs. So once again, I'm gonna look right here off to the side to look into my phone. And before I press anything down, I want to make sure I have things lined up first. So now that it is lined up, I'm just going to go in and start pressing. Pressing the wig into the glue. And I know this side is going to lean a lot more because of the sideburns. But you see how my hairline straight across so i usually kind of leave the wig the way it is and just pluck a little bit and then like i don't try to match my hairline because since i have a straight across hairline i know it's gonna be fine okay so now i'm just gonna go back in like pieces like this I'm just gonna go back in and re-glue them pieces down because it's just like hair that's like past my hairline, like I glued back hair, but um, I don't cut the extra lights off, that's just me. But see, I could remove it and it's it wouldn't be a big deal. But I don't know, I'll play around with it um, and figure out but I don't think I want to cut it. I like when I keep the hair the way that it is. Um, So this is what the wig looks like. This is the finished product. And the hair is starting to dry, but I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so now that I got my cap off, I cleaned my hairline and I put new makeup on my wig. So this is how it looks now. So I feel like it's a lot better. Um, I just wasn't feeling it and I'm the type of person, I don't like putting out videos or work that I really don't like, like if I have a chance to fix it then that's what I'm gonna do. So I wasn't about to leave it like that and just be comfortable with it. So we're fixing it. And I guess this is like a good way to show you guys how to fix your own wig at home. Okay, so this is how my hair looks now that i took the cap off so i didn't notice that like my hairline 
because I don't have the cap on and it's my real hair underneath. It's just, it looks like darker. So, took the cap off. So, always do like a trial and error. Like, even when I saw how the cap looked, I should have took it off then. When you have that instinct where you feel like, okay, this isn't looking right, it's okay to stop and start over. Because if you continue with something that doesn't look how it should from the beginning, you're going to end up with bad results like me. So I'm just a prime example. I'm not going to be perfect every single time you do it. And that is okay. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. It's Brooklyn Dasani and I'm back. So this is like days later. I was going to order um, HD gaps, but I didn't want to have to wait because I don't have Amazon Prime no more. This is, let me show you guys how it looks. So this is how it's looking. It's not glued down or anything right now, but because I was like, before I order a HD cap, let me try to see if I can make this cap work. So I started putting makeup on, but then I stopped because I was like, maybe that was another reason on why my lace was looking orangey. So um, you see how with thumb scissors, I'm able to like literally get close the cap so um i like did a few things different so instead of just putting the cap straight on i actually stuck the cap underneath my chin and i pulled it back and then i just slid it back a little bit so it could cover the nape of my neck and then i just went around with the glue but i cut the little eye hole things in my ears so that's how this got this and i wish this type of effect did it throughout because right here is like perfect as you can see i had took the makeup off my lace as well i had just um let it air dry okay Woo. okay so my actual cap is right here i think i'm gonna position it like kind of like yeah, I think I'm gonna do like right in front of it. Okay, so y'all, I think I'm gonna continue doing it. I just literally put this on and went to go eat because I wanted to make sure everything was looking right. So what I also do is like, I turn my flash on and I like, look, I usually record like a video so I can really see, but this is how I figure out if my lace is like, Okay, y'all, hold up. I'm gonna show you guys how I figure out if my lace is like too light and stuff. Okay, so I record, like I turn my light down and I record like a video and you guys could like see my lace like right there. So that's how I determine because this is what I talk about when I talk about like setting and lighting because how I'm looking in the mirror when I look straight, it looks fine here. Here, I can tell I need makeup on my sides. When I turn, it doesn't look like I need makeup on my side right here. But when I go to edit this video, it might look different. So that's why you always need to check just how I recorded a video on my phone. Now that I know that I'm like not having any problems with my cat underneath, I'm just gonna continue doing my hair since it's not like orangey and I am gonna add baby hairs but you see right here I like over plucked 
So I'm gonna like kind of finesse it and kind of smooth the hair like upward like that. And I'm gonna take out like literally like a few pieces of hair. Okay, so now that I glued down all of the edges that were left in, I really do not want to add makeup because I don't want it to look orangey. So first, I'm going to try to add this lace tint. I literally don't have much. Um, I'm not going to spread it directly on. I'm going to spread it onto this brush and kind of like dab on it and then I'm going to lay it down with the band. Because I can't remember if my shade is bronze because in this brand it's bronze and tan and then it goes dark and then deep dark. I know I'm not dark. Um, I think I always use bronze, but I don't want to just go spraying it. So I'm gonna put this first, and then if I need to, if I need to, I'm gonna put makeup over top, which I feel like I might because. So now that I added the lace tint, I noticed that it's still like when I'm in dark areas and you shine a flash you can see my lace so um i really don't want to do this without making sure i have my right shade because ooh. okay maybe i shouldn't do it okay i'm literally just gonna dab like a little bit you know what Okay, so you guys might not be able to see, but I need to make sure I'm putting the right shade. And this is how I'm going to be able to tell, so I'm just going to use my light. Because I can't really tell with this. Okay, so I was adding this but this seems like too light, so I need to go a shade up, so I'll be right back. I do wanna tell you guys, if you do have lace tint, I suggest you use a lace tint instead of makeup. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Like a makeup is, fine there's nothing wrong with using makeup but if you never try lace tint i would say just give it a to give it a try first okay so i can't fully see what it looks like right now but i am gonna check before I'm done but now we're just gonna do the baby hairs okay so I think this is what I want to do for the baby hairs and then the sideburns 
just in the same areas as you've seen before, just less. And you guys can see that I over plug right there, but it's fine because I would never wear my hair to that side. I always wear it to this side or in the middle. So either way, it'll be covered. But that's why you have to make sure you lightly plug and always check your work. I probably just got carried away. It was like late at night when I was doing hair. And it's late at night again tonight. It's currently 2.45 and I'm up redoing this video because I really want to give you guys good content. I don't want to put out just anything because I'm not going to put out something that I don't like. So just how I was down that one day, I wasn't about to just give up and be like, all right, fuck I'm not going to do a video. No, I'm just going to fix I'm just gonna fix my mistakes, come back and so I'm gonna come back and do the baby. Well, I'm gonna do the baby hairs and then I'll be back because as you guys can see, I already burnt myself and it's late, so I'm trying to focus. So I'll see you guys once I finish all that. So now that I have finished my baby hairs, um can you see this side? I couldn't do my side burn like this, like this side on this side because of my surface dragons person. So I did the best I can, but I'll be able to swoop and stuff like when I'm actually like going somewhere. I'm just gonna go in and just add just literally a teeny bit of that makeup shade, like right. In front, and I'm gonna double check it. Okay, so you see how everything is now? Like, even if I didn't cover up these baby hairs, you see how you can't see my lace right there? How it's not like white and transparent. So, that's a good trick to do. Like, maybe if you're somebody who likes to go out to the club or if you're going to like a special event, like a birthday dinner or something, you know, like people's going to be taking pictures or if you want your pictures taken and you don't take pictures at, until nighttime or something, that's something good to do and always check for when you're leaving your house. Like even like me, I love to record on Instagram. So I will open Instagram, will open my camera, turn my flash on and kind of go in a dark area and just shine my light to see what my lace looks like. Because even though my lace looks good here, I could go in the dark and it could look completely different. So I'm just going to spray the spritz across everything and tie it down just so I can start wetting the hair. And you guys will see the finished look. So this is how the wig looks wet and I don't have a part, I just had it like flipped over because that's how I would actually wear the wig. But I do want to show you guys how it looks in the middle part. Oh, 
Okay, so as you guys know, I did overpluck right there. So let me show you guys what I would do to make this non noticeable. So I have Eco Styler Gel. I just literally dab my comb into the Eco Styler Gel. And I just kind of comb it onto the hair. But you play with it to your liking. But you see how you guys can't see that part? You would just do the same thing. And you could also do this with this spritz as well. Let me show you guys. So I take this and you spray that. And then you would just take it. The only tricky thing about this is trying to make sure that you get it even for the bump. So you guys see? So that's how you do like a quick little fix. So you won't be able to tell the mistake that you made but you will also take like this I really don't want to spray this because I don't know because this is what it is that looks like kind of like a red I mean not red this looks like a, a brown It says red, but I'm not gonna play with it. I'm not even gonna attempt to do that. But this is how the wig looks if you choose to wear it in a middle part. And with this, you would just like flatten it out and everything, but I'm not gonna do all that because, like I said, it's like two o'clock at well, three o'clock in the morning now. So I won't be doing all that. But um this middle part is actually cute. I didn't think I was gonna like in the middle part. Um the style that I, I actually wanna do that is you see me on TikTok. So make sure you follow my social media to see how I actually style this wig. I've been playing with it and you can even take it. Like you could do a half up, half down. Or if you get this same exact wig with this length, you could put it into a half ponytail. And if you want, you could sew down the back so you don't have to worry about it. So you can be able to put it into a ponytail. So there's really so much that you could do with this wig. And it's super full, it's so freaking cute. All the details of this wig will be linked down below. If you also want to contact Colleen, their information will also be down below in the description box as well. And stay connected with me and go check out my social media down in the description box. And if you like more of these videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell. So you can be notified every time I post a new video and have a great day.